everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and I am coming at you guys today to talk about this hair that I am rocking. This is a wig from none other than Diva Wigs. This is my first time ever getting a wig from Diva Wigs and reviewing for Diva Wigs. So I'm going to tell you guys all about the wig that I am wearing, all the specs, and give you my thoughts on the wig. First it comes packaged in this white box which says Diva Wigs on it. Inside the white box is a white brush, a wig cap, the netted wig cap, as well as the wig inside of a hair net. Now, when I took it out, I realized the hair was really, really long. It looked longer than 22 inches. We measure curly hair when it's straight, but I guess with the wigs, they measure it when it's curly. So, what I have is a 22 inch, but it's actually like a 24 inch, and it comes all the way to my hip. So, the wig that I have is a Jessica White inspired curly wig. The product code for this wig is CEC001. The length for this hair is 22 inches. It is a full lace curly wig. The hair texture is silky. The density is 120, which I really think is 150. The lace color is light brown. The cap construction is glueless. And the cap size is petite because y'all know I got a little bit of head. Also, the wig has three combs. It has two on the side, one at the top. And it also has adjustable straps in the back. Unfortunately, when I was trying my own, one of my adjustable straps popped, but I still made it work and my cap still fits, so I have no issues with that. So first off, this is the wig straight out of the box. I'm going to come back later and show you guys how it looks after I co-wash it, put a part in it, and all of that. But right out of the box, I just want to show you guys how it looks. The hair texture is silky, but it's not like Barbie doll silky or extra fine silky. It has like a nice silky feel to it. It doesn't have the coarseness of yakky hair, so it definitely is a silky texture. The lace color is light brown. When I applied the lace, you can actually see the light brown lace, and it does go well with my skin tone. Now, the reason that I'm wearing it like this is because if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it, girl. Look, I always just get stock wigs. However you make it, just send it to me. I pick my color, and I pick my length. Everything else, I just want basic. No. But no, with this hair, I was like, hmm. I want some density because sometimes the wigs don't be full enough. This is a new company. I don't know how they operate. They might give me a slack in wig. So I was like, I want 130 density. Girl, bad. This wig is too full for me. I am going to either have to thin it out or find a way to rock it so that it fits me. I have a fine hair texture, so my hairline is very fine. So I have to... You know, manipulate my hair to look fuller around the edges, around the hairline. I am bald headed or nothing, but you know, girl, how thin. So, um, this is just too full for me. Do not make the mistake of doing what I did and just pulling a density out your behind. Because I was like, I want me some thick hair. I want it to be full, honey. This is full and thick. And this is not even all the hair brought to the front. I still have hair in the back. So, yeah. Hopefully when I wash it and condition it, tames it a little bit, finds the curls a little bit more, and it's not so thick and full. I'm sure it's going to still be thick and full because it's a fuller density, but hopefully, I mean, shampoo and conditioning it, it sleeks it out some and don't make it look as full or as big because, yeah, no. Like, I tried it with my main mouse headband. I tried it with a hat. I tried it with a turban. I tried it with this headband. I just tried it different ways to see if I can, you know, camouflage the hairline so that it don't look too cray. And, you know, kind of wearing it more like a half wig. But I'm definitely going to play with it some more. Going to shampoo and condition it and see what I can, what results I get with that. So hopefully I'm going to get the look that I'm going for once I style it and tame it and all that stuff. So. so since I asked for a higher density, they had to custom make the wig and it took 20 days I think. So if you are in the market for a wig and you just want it like in a couple days, don't customize it. Just get stock wigs. Had I researched this, I saw that it was full enough already and that I didn't need to add any more density to the wig. But I was like, I'm just going to go for it, jump in the head first, and see what happens when I get it. And yeah, that's what happened when I got it. It's not only just thick all over, but it's also thick at the hairline. The wig also has lace in the back so that you can pull it up into a ponytail. The hairline on it is nice if you can pull off the hairline. She can't. So that's why I had to push it back, like I said, a hundred times. But the hairline is nice on the wig as well as it does have lace in the back if you want to pull it up into a ponytail and it is a full lace wig in case you want to depart it and you know wear it different kind of ways so 
I will come back with an update once I do some styling to the wig because I love wearing curly hair, wavy hair, or like blondish color hair in the spring and summer. If you guys have a favorite type of hair to wear during the spring and summer, let me know below. Or what's your go-to style during the spring and summer. Yeah, and all information, my lips and foundation and all that stuff will be listed below where I got this headband from, all that kind of stuff. So I love you guys and I'll talk to y'all later.